I acknowledge the ongoing fight to bring an Australian citizen home. We have a new parliament and a new chance to stand up and have this government say no Australian citizen should face over a century in jail for the crime of telling the truth. Yeah. That is the... Yeah. Yeah. I find it astounding the way in which our government has been complicit in the ongoing persecution of one of our citizens. A, a, a citizen journalist whose crime was exposing the war crimes of the United States and the war crimes of one of our allies in wars which we were involved as well. Without Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, we would not know the truth. And it's the truth that is really at risk with this prosecution of Julian Assange. This isn't against Julian Assange. This is an effort by the US government with the complicity of our government. It's a war against the truth and we should call it out for what it is. And the truth matters. And the truth matters. And if our Prime Minister is going to stand up for that basic principle that the truth matters, well then he should pick up the phone and he should use the diplomatic power we have with the UK and the US and he should say to both of those governments, drop the prosecution and bring Julian home. So I know you've heard contributions from my Greens colleagues, Jordan and Pete, and I've got to say I've, I've watched their ongoing work in this place, not letting this issue be dropped. And I, I'm grateful for their work and I'm grateful for their advocacy. But I can tell you as I look around this crowd, I am grateful that there are so many Australians who care about this. I'm grateful that you've come down here to Canberra in the first week of this new parliament and made sure that Julian Assange and the truth is on the table in the first week of this parliament. So I can tell you this as a Greens MP, and I'm the justice spokesman for the party, that we will not stop, we will not stop until our government steps up for Julian. We will not stop until our government steps up for the truth. And I want to come back here in a few short weeks or months and celebrate Julian Assange coming home, celebrate the truth and have a victory, have a victory for decency over war, for truth over lies, and for citizens and the ability of citizens to learn the truth, to learn the truth. Because I see this as a very clear signal to anybody else in this planet, any one of us. If you stand out and call out the war crimes of the United States, if you stand up and call out the war crimes of Australia or the United Kingdom, after they come after Julian, they'll come after you. So this is a fight for the future. It's a fight for the truth. And I can tell you this, it's a fight we're going to win. We're going to bring Julian home. Thanks very much.